Hunt has Fallen is an action RPG. It's about combat, it's about fast-paced action, fighting, and using all your skills together to bring down cool big monsters. So I love to work on things that are like action adventure, where you can go into a completely new space, a new fresh land, and really get into the nitty gritty of exploring and finding hidden mysteries and being able to artistically uh, develop that even further is just so much fun to do. I am always very happy to be in this idea finding phase and then see how can we really turn it into a real game so that everything works as a whole. We thought, okay, we did sci-fi in the past, so let's explore fantasy. The world of Atlas is a unique medieval fantasy world where mighty gods control the fate of mankind and they really subdued all of humankind. So you begin your journey as an unnamed, a part of a caravan transporting essence to the golden city of Lethesda. There are different factions in this game and I think those you will uh, meet uh, most often in the game are first the, the, the fighters and the soldiers uh, of the Thousand Year Queen. So they're um, in, in charge of keeping the pathways clear to move the caravans with the essence through the kingdom. And they're pretty harsh uh, against any human who opposes them. We have a great level design team who has really worked on trying to figure out how we could get this knowledge from the Surge games and bring it into um, this new, more fast-paced, movement-oriented world. The most interesting aspect of the world of Atlas Fallen is its scale and verticality. How can we make sure that the player cannot break out of our world while also ensuring that they perceive the grandest possible freedom in the way they move and explore? In order to find out all these things in the world, you have super special abilities. You have the sand gliding, which is basically like surfing down sand dunes and um, having really fast-paced exploration. Cloud production, it became faster and faster because we noticed, oh, it's still fun, and it's even more fun if we just tune it up a bit more. You'll also get to go to places that are completely preserved due to the world and how it is, and hidden from the sun, from Thelos. So something that inspired me uh, during Atlas Fallen was Dune. It's really cool to see how Dune approaches sand. And what I found more interesting for me to explore with Dune as a base is to look at other fantasy titles. So going from Lord of the Rings to The Witcher and understanding how those worlds are constructed and then adding our visual twist. So taking real world examples of quarries and how sand over thousands of years would affect those states has been really interesting for us to explore. The sand is under our control. It carries us. We try to think out of the box that we have built for us and uh, make the levels bigger or the player character faster or the monsters more interesting. I think you can really find many things from our previous games in our gameplay mechanics and this was important for us. We like to preserve many things that, that we think are cool and that our people can do well and that players like. We decided to go with like different difficulty levels but the essence we keep is the body parts, that you're able to target specific body parts of the enemy in order to have like a tactical angle to the combat. So we really wanted to make it. the fight be um, something that anyone can pick up and feel like they're doing fantastic things. They are like swinging the big axes. Really having immediate feelings and sensations of power. I believe it is quite easy to pick up at Last Fallen and start doing some things that people find cool. So the core of the combat system is what we call the momentum. When the momentum meter is full, you ascend into the air and smash down on the enemy and just leave him in shatters. And that, for me at least, uh, it's super exciting. The Essence Stones are inspired by the implants. We decided yeah, that the player will be able to tailor their playstyle and their moveset and will be unlocking progressively new moves, new abilities, passive and active, um, during the fight for the player. I think it feels like the game really has two core pillars. One is the combat, the fighting um, and the action. 
and one is the exploration of the game world. Something really cool that I hope players enjoy is getting to these high vantage points in the world and just looking out at what's in the horizon. It's going to be really fun to see how people interact with this and how deep they go into the exploration in Atlas. For such a grand game, um, having so much movement freedom is, I think, pretty unique. So there's a lot of um, choice for the player on how they can play the game and how they can engage with the world. You're completely free to do crazy things and to mix things that are maybe more weird to other players, but if you like that, then maybe it's your play style and you have some very special fun, uh, just do it. Co-op experience in Atlas Fallen is unique and so far that the game can be experienced from start to finish uh, almost seamlessly. But aside from that, everything is very flexible, hopping up off at any point of the game, any point of the story. They can join with a friend, drop out, continue in solo, continue with another friend. And that's what I think Atlas Fallen is really good at because since we have the co-op, like a more experienced genre player can come there to help out his friend. So there's nothing that touches humans more than the voice. And so we recorded a choir in Sofia specifically for the game because it's another thing choirs can hardly be mimicked by technology. The intensity of the music changes within combat. So the more intense the combat gets, the more intense the music gets. My main job was to fill the world with sounds and with music and I I say sounds because it's all about sand, it's about essence, it's about this mystical world that you try to discover. My favorite aspect of Atlas Fallen is actually that we have a very special setting and you have a very, very agile way of discovering it. You can surf through it and, and still there's a lot waiting for you everywhere. And I think this combination is really cool. I hope uh, everyone will really enjoy the game. We put all of our heart into it. We took a lot of risk again, tried to do new things. And I hope um, in the end, people will feel the passion we put in this project and will enjoy it. I hope players really enjoy the exploration of the game and really enjoy the fast-paced action that they have. And this combination, I hope, is unique and give them a lot of fun.